Hello Families. Right now, I'm going to show you how you're going to access the Google Classroom and all the different features that are available on Google Classroom. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see how you will be entering the Google Classroom once um, we start our virtual instruction. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to share my screen with you. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So you're going to come into the classroom, and when you get there, it will look like this. You can either hit this, the stream, or you can go to classwork. If you go to classwork, it will always be there. So you're going to hit the virtual classroom, and this will come up. Now this is where you're going to come every day to find out what we're doing for the day. So there's a playlist. And this tells you what to hit on in the playlist. So on Monday, you're going to go to the teacher icon. So you're going to come up here and hit the teacher icon. And you're going to get a video from me that tells you what we're talking about this week. Um, on, and then you're going to go to the question mark. So you'll go back up here and hit the question mark. And you're going to have your child fill out this doc. It just says, what's your favorite color? If your kid cannot read and you're not with them, they can always hit the, the icon down here and I will be asking them the question and then they just have to hit what color they like and hit submit. So it's pretty simple. Um, and then, so the next thing it says to do is to click on Pete the Cat. So you're gonna come back into the classroom and hit on the Pete the Cat book and you're going to hear a story um, read by me or one of my co-teachers, um, Pete the Cat Rocking in My School Shoes. Um, the next thing you're going to do is there's some instructions here that say draw a picture, create a video about where you'll be learning at home. So these are our Monday activities. So you're going to go through and do one through six. We're going to have Zoom calls every day right now. It only has it on um, every other day. Um, but we're going to be doing them every day. So we'll have that fixed before school starts. Um, I also have, because I have some students who speak Portuguese, the next slide down will be Monday in Portuguese. So everybody has the same access to the same information. So the, uh, Monday, and then there's Tuesdays, and Tuesdays in Portuguese, Wednesday, and then Thursday. And then, as you know, if you were in my class last year, when we did virtual, we did an optional fun Friday. So on Friday, you'll come here and you'll look. We're going to hit the science experiment. Um, and then you're going to look at the uh, uh, videos that Mrs. Phillips and Mrs. Um, Whiting put together for you. And then I also have in there, go outside and have fun with your family, because that's important. The next slide down is our kids' corner page. So here we're going to have every student's picture as long as you have signed a release. They're all going to be in here. And when you click on your friend's picture, I'm going to link in their email address. So if you would like to get a hold of your friend, um, you can email your friends. And you'll probably need moms and dads and other family members to help you do that. But this is a way that you guys can stay in contact with each other. Um, and then there's also our preschool family tree is here. So when you click on this, I'm going to have pictures of all the different families in our classroom right now. I have some families in here or some um, of our staff members. So these are the people that your kids may see in our hallway. These are all teachers and um, therapists in our hallway. So these are people that you will be acquainted with. I also have our secretaries. So these are the people that you will get to know when your child comes to school. And I have our families in here too. So there's Mrs. Whiting's family, there's my family, and Mrs. Phillips' family is in here up here. So that's one of the things you will see when you are in our um, Kids Corner page. We have our kindness tree here too. Our kindness tree is something we will be using. And when you see somebody do something kind, you can email it to me and I will make a little document to put on our kindness tree. And it, this one says, Mrs. Whiting got snack ready. 
So if you see somebody do something kind, I can share it in here. If it's your brother or sister, I could say, um, Susie's brother shared her, his toys with her, something like that. Um, this is also where we'll have um, post things that you turn in so your friends can see. So everybody is going to do an All About Me project. You're going to click there. And you're going to look. And this will have everybody's picture. And then you can click on the picture and I'll take you to their project. So that's one of the things that we will be doing. And things that you can look forward to seeing in our kids corner. So every time on the, on the schedule where it says we're going to share something in the kids corner, this is where you'll come. Also, you will find our virtual schedule in the clock. So when you look at the clock and you click on it, you'll see our schedule. Now, I want to share this with you because everybody will be at everything on Zoom that has a green. So if it's green, that means every student is expected to do that. This is our AM class. So everybody will be at our daily life circle. And after circle, we will have a small break which, where I'm going to play a, a song where the kids can, can get their wiggles out or they can go to the bathroom for about five minutes. And then we'll start a small group activity. So I'll have some kids um, stay on the Zoom um, on Mondays and Wednesdays. Those will be my yellow group. And my blue group will stay on the Zoom on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if your child is on the yellow team, you will come back for a, a small group activity with your friends. And if you're on the blue team, then you'll come back on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, that's all for that. So let's look at what's next. Um, also, the next page is the parent information page. Here I will put in the links to our Zoom meetings. So you all you'll have to do is AM will be up here. If you're in the AM, you'll hit on this icon and the meeting link will be there. And if you're in PM, you can hit that one and your meeting link will be there. Um, these links straight to our email addresses. So if you need to get a hold of me or you want to turn something in, all you have to do is come here and hit send to me and it'll send me whatever email you're trying to turn in or if you have a question that's uh, that will link right to me mrs phillips has her email address in here mrs uh, whiting's email address is in here um miss wick miss laura and our new um Therapist, we have a new OT. I don't have a picture of her yet, but she'll be here. And that's Miss Bly, and her email will be linked in here once I have her picture. Um, there's a newspaper here, and I don't know if you notice it's on the first page as well. And that will link straight to our newsletter. So when I have a new newsletter, I usually do newsletters on Mondays. You'll come here and you'll link on it, and you'll be able to read the newsletter. There's a video here about how to make a safe place at home. And um, there's a, a spot in the um, curriculum where it tells moms and dads and, and other family members that they can come here to see how to make a safe place at home. Um, over here, there's a, a link to the Conscious Discipline website. Conscious Discipline is something we use in preschool, and it's a great resource for families. There's all sorts of things at this, on this website that you can do with your families. Um, Right here, this links to our uh, preschool handbook for this year. So if you ever have a question or want to look something up, it's right here in this handbook. This is a guide to um, special a parents' guide to special education. So you can click on that and open that up. If you ever have anything you want to look at in there, it's right here for you to view. And right here we'll have our um, monthly family project. Right now, it's the All About Me project. So when you click on that, you'll see there's three different options that you can choose from to create a family project with your families. All of this will be available in the parent page. Um, right here is exploring the virtual classroom. This tutorial that I'm making right now will be in this 
spot. So you, when you, if you ever need to reference something, you can come here and look at this to see, see if you can figure out um, what you're trying to do if you don't understand. Um, I think we went over everything in our, in our virtual classroom. Again, um, you'll have different activities and I'll tell you to do different things at different times. Um, so some of the things that we're doing up here are our breathing icons. And these are all part of conscious discipline and they'll teach you how to do them. So if your child needs to calm down, they may need to take a breath, there's different ways to do it. And these will teach them how to breathe. And we'll be learning those at, during our live Zoom meetings as well. And we'll also, um, I think there's some other videos in the curriculum as well where they'll be learning about breathing and how to breathe with their, their friends or their families. The heart link goes to some I love you rituals. I'm we're working on a new video. This is one I made in the spring um, where we'll just be teaching you some I love you rituals and things that you can do at home. Uh, right here is a song link. So it's certain times throughout the curriculum. And I'll tell you to go look at the song link, link. It will change on occasion. Again, this is our fun Friday. I have a good fun video about making Play-Doh in there right now. Our foundations link is here. We'll be doing foundations on our live Zooms, but also I have a, um, a lesson linked in here so you can review that with your, with your kids or your family members. Um, down here, these are different apps that links to Epic. Epic is a great app that you can look at and have um, it will read to your children. Um, you can look at different videos. There's different songs you can do. Epic, um, I will probably be assigning a couple little songs in there just for them to, to look at and get started, but it will read to them. Or if they're ready to read to themselves, you can have it do that too. Um, Mystery Doug is another website that they can use at their leisure. All of these websites here are things they can use at their leisure. So Mystery Doug, they'll ask a question and try to um, figure out, it's just a fun science, um, science website that you can go to. ABC Mouse is another great one, um, which right now um, is free for students. So we're going to hopefully have every kid have their own ABC Mouse account. If not, I can assign things for them to do because um, I have a free teacher's account. Um, and this links to Starfall. Starfall um, has a lot of free resources. There are some you have to pay for, but um, there, there's a lot of free resources that you can use at home. So these are ones we will also be using in the classroom, um, but this is something for you to look at at home and you can just play with it however they want. It's totally up to them. All right, I think we've gone through everything in our classroom and I am looking forward to a great year. Um, and I think we're all gonna learn how to do this together. Um, as always, I wish you well.